Hey men, this is Mike Snow with another Men's Ministry Moment. Thank you for joining me as we look at insights, ideas, and information regarding ministering to men. This week I've been reading in Ezekiel 11. It is a continuation of the episode titled, Are You Hard-Headed for the Gospel? But with a different perspective. In chapter 11, we see that God is speaking to Ezekiel about the people of Israel and shares some observations and warnings. In verse 12, God reminds the Israelites that they have not followed him by keeping his laws and have conformed to the standards of the nations around them. How many of us men have allowed ourselves to be conformed to this world in many areas of our lives? We have not followed God's instructions, trained ourselves in righteousness, allowing the Holy Spirit to conform us into the image of God. Our spiritual growth is referred to as the process of sanctification. This includes two aspects. One, becoming less like what we were before we came to Christ. And two, becoming more like Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 12, too, do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you're not changing, but continuing to be conformed to this world, you need to evaluate yourself to discover where you stand in your relationship with God. The Bible says in Lamentations 3.40 that we need to examine ourselves and return to the Lord. We should strive to be more like Jesus every day, follow his instructions, and apply his teachings to our lives. The Bible says in John 14.15 that Jesus said, If you love me, you will obey my commandments. Now, God told Ezekiel that after scattering the Israelites because of their rebellious and obstinate ways, he would gather them back. And when they return, they will remove all the vile images and detestable idols. Do you have any detestable idols in your life? And recognize that an idol does not have to be a statue. It could be your job or any possessions you may have. God said he would give them an undivided heart or a heart of unity. He would put a new spirit in them or a spirit of sensibility. And he would remove the heart of stone and give them a tender and responsive heart. Then they will follow God's decrees and be careful to keep his laws. The Bible says in Ezekiel eleven twenty that God said, they will be my people and I will be their God. Men, are you still being conformed by this world or are you being transformed by the renewing of your mind? Are you putting away vile and detestable acts or are you holding on to them, resulting in a stunted spiritual growth or possibly no growth at all? The Bible says in Ezekiel eleven twenty one 21, that if we continue to hold on to these things, it will bring about destruction on our lives. Will you hold on to the promise of God in Ezekiel three nineteen, giving you an undivided heart, putting a new spirit within you and softening your heart so that you can follow his decrees and be careful to keep his commandments? The Bible says in Joshua 1a, do not let this book of the law, which is the Bible for us, depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. I pray, men, this is your desire. The only way we can follow God's instructions and to train ourselves in righteousness is to be in the word of God. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you will join me next time as I share insights, ideas, and information on men's ministry moments. And I pray that you will join me in the challenge and adventure to disciple every man. God bless.